In this video, we are going to discuss about the one more type of uh, interrupt handling scheme that is uh, prioritize simple interrupt handler. Uh, here, um, okay, the disadvantage that you had with the necessary interrupt handler was like uh, the priority was not assigned. So that is what we discussed. Priority was not assigned so that the normal interrupts could block the critical interrupts. Whereas in this case, actually that will not happen because you're going to assign priority to different interrupts when you assign uh, uh, different priorities to different interrupts you're going to take uh, the interrupt with a higher priority you don't allow the low priority interrupts to disturb the high priority interrupts so in that way you could uh, make sure that the critical interrupts they are not blocked by the normal interrupts that is what you have has been written here the interrupts from the various sources are prioritized based on the criticality by the system designers so before, uh, see one thing what you have to understand, these are the external interrupts. See, when I say, when I say this interrupts means uh, this could be like the interrupts from the uh, timers, okay, interrupts from the timers, interrupts from the UART, okay, any of the other serial communication devices. So all those interrupts, it could, uh, you have one interrupt controller, a hardware, which if it is a hardware level uh, uh, priority assigning, so this will actually disturb the ARM processor. So that is how it happens here. So this is one thing that you have to take care. Okay. So these, these are the interrupts that we are discussing. That is not the internal interrupts that we have. What are different internal interrupts you have? It That is inside the ARM itself. Okay. So the internal, these are the external interrupts. The internal, internal interrupts are like, um, you have a reset interrupt. You have a software interrupt. You have, uh, what is that one, abort both the prefetch abort and the data abort maybe you have the yeah so this is like if i say prefetch and the data abort okay maybe some undefined instruction so these are all different uh, internal interrupts that you have inside the arm itself okay so don't actually get confused with the internal interrupts and the external interrupts external interrupts could be any of the devices okay devices they need the attention of the processor for certain communication purpose or for any other um, requirements so send the data or anything like that okay so that is what you have so let me erase this one okay fine now so that is what we have uh, discussed here so interest on the various sources are prioritized based on the criticality of the system designers. Next one that you have is the, of course, the priority level that, that, that main thing, that is the main thing that dictates the order that the interrupts will be serviced. For example, actually, if I assign for the timer, for the timer, if I assign the priority one, it is a higher priority. Maybe for the UART, I assign a priority two. So if in this interrupt controller, Maybe through the IRQ, through the IRQ pin, you are going to disturb the ARM processor. So if uh, this is interrupt controller, which is going to handle different interrupts. So maybe timer comes here, timer wants the attention of the processor. UART also wants the attention of the processor. Both can disturb the processor through the IRQ pin. IRQ pin is made high here. And uh, while this uh, timer is, since it is given high priority, UART is given second priority interrupt controller what it does is that it gives uh, more it, 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 it takes the timer um, attention i mean it uh, it allows timer to disturb the processor arm processor through the irq pin it will actually make you are to wait until timer gets over so that's how you are um, based on the priority what you assign you make sure that the low priority interrupt will not disturb the high priority interrupts whereas in the case of nested uh, uh, priority case what nested sorry nested interrupt handler uh, the low priority interrupt could also disturb the high priority interrupt it was not based on any priority just actually you come my service you come my service so that is what uh, happened in the case of uh, uh, nested interrupt handler and the one thing what you have to remember both in the non nested as well as the nested it was first come first serve basis whoever comes first that is going to be serviced whereas in this case actually it is not uh, like that way see as i said earlier if you have this uh, interrupt controller whoever comes first it is not like that way so initially actually if you have like a uart or a timer 
so initially only actually of course if no interrupt wants the attention of the processor then whatever like if you are is there if timer doesn't want the attention of the processor then you are will be given if i say timer i have given the priority 1 you are given the priority 2 then timer will if since timer doesn't need the attention of the processor then in order to save the processor time you are if it is before if it wants attention of the processor you give access to the uart itself but if you are doesn't want the but you are also wants the attention of the processor timer also wants the attention of the processor and maybe you are comes uh, and uh, needs attention of the processor that is arm processor through the irq pin that you have and it is getting service but suddenly actually a timer comes and it wants attention of the processor till uart is not finished you are because timer is having the high criticality and it is having the high priority timer will not be made to wait for the uart to get over timer will be given access then by disabling the of course by stopping the execution of the uh, isr for the uart you take the timer interrupt you service that one that is what you do okay so that is taken care here now that's what the priority level is used to dictate the order that the interrupts will be serviced okay so first only priority you don't actually get confused here so one thing priority level when i say that uh, don't get confused with the reset priority and then irq priority then the abort priority then the what all the priorities you have the undefined instruction okay fiq priority no 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 kindly make sure that these are these 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 this is not the priority level priority level you programmer assign and that is what you have like um, it can be uh, the prioritization how it can achieve means you can achieve through the hardware that is through the interrupt controller you have a specific hardware for that one or through the software software means you write a program where different interrupts uh, whenever they come so of course this is more delays associated with the software because you have to keep on checking at the irq pin you keep on checking at the irq pin what all different uh, uh, devices are accessing that one so uh, so that you keep on uh, analyzing the priorities of the different uh, devices so that is what you do in the software level and of obviously in software level there is more delay associated hardware level i see it just actually have all the devices which are attached to this ic maybe timer device uart device any other uh, uh, serial communication any other serial communication devices so all those devices initially only you are assigned the priority is assigned you just take that one and give the uh, to the arm processor let me erase this one you give it to the arm processor through the irq pin okay that is what you do it here and uh, so obviously one thing what i just wanted to stress this priority level that you assign it is independent of the priority that is assigned by the arm processor itself in the arm processor itself first only the priority level is assigned for the different internal uh, interrupts that is you have of course internal interrupt or external interrupt also i mean the, not the devices not based on devices see here for the reset or the abort uh, you have different uh, Uh, priorities that are assigned that is assigned when uh, designing the arm processor itself in internal only it will have all the priorities you can't change the priorities of these interrupts be it the undefined instruction be it the prefetch abort be it the data abort they are all defined whereas with respect to these maybe if you have a hardware interrupt you can assign the priorities for these devices or if you have the software level also when you are doing the checking the irq pin Uh, how what all different uh, devices are there and how do you uh, make sure that actually the higher priority interrupt is uh, picked up and that is done at the software level you write the program so in this case also it is not related to this one that you are writing whereas these things can't be changed this priority level can't be changed and this priority level that you give it to the devices that is what you just wanted to stress here okay yeah, so after completing this one uh, what else is there you can just observe here this line is done so thus high priority interrupt will take precedence over the low priority interrupt that is one thing that is one sorry one advantage that you have with respect to priority simple interrupt handler because since you are assigning priorities to the different uh, devices uh, obviously different to different interrupts so high priority interrupt will definitely be answered first then the then you are going to answer for the low priority interrupt This is what I said. Much of handling prioritization can be achieved in hardware or the software. Hardware means through the interrupt controller. That is what we say. I see. So interrupt controller. Okay. 
and this is software level you are going to write the program maybe you just write the program So it needs uh, more installation code. Okay, this is more installation code is required. Why? Because whenever uh, uh, because when the program just uh, boots up, okay, from the reset mode, initially actually when it boots up, it is uh, going to assign like whenever the interrupt controller, when a specific hardware like interrupt controller is there, which is attached to the ARM processor. Okay, so it has to make sure that what all devices that are connected to the interrupt controller, they are uh, given some priorities. They are given some priorities. So that will take some amount of time. Okay, that will take some amount of time. So that's why initialization when it boots up, it definitely actually takes uh, more time. That's why it require more initialization code also. Now interrupt latency is highly deterministic. Deterministic in a sense, the high priority interrupt, same thing. High priority interrupt decides. High priority interrupt decides how the low priority is going to be, or when low priority interrupt is going to be taken. Because highly deterministic means you know that one. Interrupt latency is highly deterministic because you know that one. Because high priority interrupt is not going to be delayed. Okay, high priority interrupt you are not going to make um, high priority interrupt wait for a longer period of time. Okay. So that is what it's uh, highly deterministic means high priority interrupt uh, will be immediately answered uh, than the low priority interrupt. So high priority interrupt will be immediately answered than low priority interrupt. That is what of course this is a simple um, block diagram that you have or the flow chart how the process instead of saying block diagram let me say the flow chart itself. The steps that are there whenever some uh, interrupt occurs. Whenever actually interrupt occurs, first thing you disable the interrupt so that no other interrupt comes here. Now you, this is save minimum context. No, but that's uh, CPSR. CPSR content uh, is saved into SPSR. Not all registers are saved here. Okay, because that is the main thing that you require here. You get uh, external interrupt status. Okay, external interrupt status means that is what uh, the ERQ pin what all different devices have, uh, which all devices are there, like timer is there, timer wants your attention, you what wants your attention, what all devices want the attention of the processor, that is considered by the, uh, that is considered in this step, that is get external interrupt status. Now, uh, in the same minimum context, you just save a CPSR contents to the SPSR, not all registers, uh, whatever the contents are there, they, they, that you will consider it later, okay. That is considered this step whenever you save the context here. Okay, so now here get external interrupt status means what all devices are trying to uh, get the attention of the processor by asserting the IRQ pin high. Just take the status here. I mean that could be taken through the interrupt controller or through the software program. Okay, so identifying the interrupt priority and the mask of the low priority interrupts and enable the IRQs. That is what you do it here. Of course, you just take make sure that you identify the Inter priority so which are like whether time timer is having the high priority when you get the status which all are pinching that you see that one so which all whether uart is taking timer is taking you just see that one you just see what all uh, priorities you have assigned to these different interrupts and just mask off the low priority interrupts you don't consider the low priority interrupts if it wants your attention at the same time if it at the same time okay that is you best mask off that one enable the irqs and then when irq is enabled um, you just uh, timer whatever that is uh, accessing the whatever that wants attention of the processor that will be taken by the processor so that will be taken by the processor it just jump to the service routine of course when you jump to service routine you okay this is with respect to creating context means uh, maybe one interrupt that is for example since uh, one interrupt you are servicing maybe other higher priority interrupt comes at that time you have to service the high priority interrupt right so that is what you create the context so that uh, all the register contents whatever that was there while servicing uh, this priority so you make sure that they are saved here that's what you create the context context is basically uh, done to save all the register contents okay so context means the environment the environment that is surrounding the environment that was there well before uh, uh, interrupt occurred so you service the interrupt of course you service that interrupt and uh, switch on the internal interrupts followed by the external interrupt. So 
here in this case internal interrupt what you have to understand is that that is um, the software interrupt and then uh, you have uh, sorry you have the software interrupt then you have the reset all these actually okay you just actually come into the internal interrupts I switch on the internal interrupts and followed by the external interrupts then you restore the context you pop all the register contents do the stack to return to the task these all things we have discussed what restore context and what you do actually after returning from the task okay so that is how this is what you write the flow chart here so this is the main thing that you have to understand is that this is what identify the inter priority and mask of the lower priority interrupts and enable the irks that is the main thing that uh, occurs here so in the case of uh, prioritize simple interrupt prioritize uh, simple interrupt handler you are going to assign the priorities for the different interrupts based on the priority that you assign the high priority interrupts are considered first then the low priority interrupts are considered later okay uh, you, you make sure that actually high priority interrupts are serviced whenever any of the low priority interrupt is getting service when no high priority device are there then uh, whenever like another high priority comes when low priority interrupt is getting service you make sure that high priority interrupt gets your attention uh, that is what you create the context and you save all the register contents of the uh, serv while servicing the low priority interrupt and you make sure that the high priority interrupt is taken after you save the contents of the low priority interrupt because you have to return back isn't it so that time actually you make sure that um, high priority uh, interrupt doesn't disturb the low priority interrupt but high priority interrupt gets serviced there is no doubt in that term. high priority interrupt gets serviced so that is you that is what you do it so this is what with respect to priority simple handler interrupt handler one thing what you have to understand if uh, any of the these questions are asked like non nested interrupt handler nested interrupt handler or the priority simple interrupt handler any of these three interrupt handling schemes just um, uh, write these uh, steps that i have written here so let me erase this one you write these steps as well as this flow chart and briefly explain it so that is what you have to do it Okay, so I hope everyone understood uh, what I explained here. Okay, fine. Thank you.